Hello, hi, what's up everyone? My name is Hiba and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be episode 1 of my new series, Closet Diaries. And for today's episode, I am going to be creating a capsule wardrobe using basic pieces um, in my cupboard. So, without further ado, let's get started. Before we jump into the outfit combinations, these are the 14 pieces which I will be using to create the capsule wardrobe. We have a grey and black skirt, yellow and navy um, plazos, a plain black jumpsuit, a white and blue dress, um, I guess like beige-ish, peach-ish track pants, a denim jacket, a grey um, almost graphic tank top, a red and black flannel um, shirt, a plain yellow t-shirt, dark um, jeans, dark blue jeans or jeggings, nude um, heels, white um, sat flat sandals, black um, closed toed shoes, and white sneakers with pastel rims so outfit number one is uh, or outfit number one and two are what I um, believe are more formal and they're perfect for meetings and presentations but can also be worn um, for a night out or for formal lunches or dinners Outfit number one is the plain black jumpsuit with the nude heels and because it has black and nude components it can be elevated using chunky jewelry or a colorful blazer or jacket. And outfit number two is the um, blue and white dress with the same nude heels. Once again it can be elevated using jewelry or a nice blazer. The next combination of outfits are what I would wear when running errands or shopping. Basically they are outfit combinations which are perfect if you are running around or buying a lot of things, if that makes sense. So the third outfit is in the black jumpsuit with the yellow um, t-shirt underneath it and I guess this gives almost like semi dungry vibes and that being paired with the sneakers just makes it really casual. Outfit 4 is the t-shirt, the same yellow t-shirt being paired with the plazos and sneakers. Once again, the sneakers makes it a little more casual even though the plazos can be worn um, formally as well or you know um, out of shopping. I think being paired with a plain t-shirt and um, sneakers just makes it more casual. Outfit number five is the um, same yellow uh, t-shirt but paired with the jeans and the uh, black shoes. And I think this is again... Um, it is a bit dressy because of the shoes but the jeans and the shirt does make it more casual and it can always be paired with sneakers instead. Um, the next outfit, but number 6, that is basically the same as outfit number 5 but with a jacket on and yeah I think having a jacket on and even just buttoning it up gives a completely different look. So. The last outfit in this um, combination is the tank top with the jeans and sneakers and a flannel um, shirt over that. Um, I think this is a very casual look, especially with the flannel, but um, it can always be toned down or toned up using um, by not using the flannel or by changing the shoes um, in this look. The next combination of outfits are what I would wear when lounging, but 
they could be worn out and about as well because they're very comfortable and by just changing the shoes or some elements in them they could be worn out the eighth outfit is the um, yellow uh, t-shirt worn on top of the black jumpsuit and I think this is a good way to expand the variety of clothing you have in a capsule wardrobe because it, the jumpsuit can be used as only a shirt or only pants and so by pairing it with a different um, t-shirt or different shirt you just get more choice of bottoms outfit number nine is um, the um, yellow uh, t-shirt with um, the beige or peachish track pants with sneakers I wear track pants out all the time but um, they are more for lounging or casual wear so that's why they're in this category and once again it's just making use of the same shirt but changing the bottoms the next outfit, which is outfit number 10, um, it is um, an unconventional uh, outfit combination, but um, I think um, if you really need a, a plain black tank top or a tank top which you, uh, in a color you don't already own, this outfit could look really cute and it could also be worn as um, a formal look so that is basically the jumpsuit paired with the plazo pants and the black shoes and I mean it is obviously because it's a jumpsuit it already takes a lot to um, take it off and use uh, a restroom or change if you're shopping but um, I think it's a really cute look and I would wear it again. The final outfit combinations are what I would wear for a brunch or a lunch or even just going out with friends or family. So outfit number 11 is a um, skirt with um, the tank top and black shoes and um, yeah I think it's just a very simple look and it's almost very monochromatic but I think they all go well together and it could be worn in a formal setting with a different top as well. Um, outfit number 12 is the same look with the flat sandals and denim jacket on top and I think this just makes the what would be a more formal look into more casual. I think it, it looks really beachy also for some reason. So there's that. Um, outfit number 13 is the blue and white dress with the white sandals and denim jacket. And this is basically uh, going from what was a formal outfit or something which would be worn as for a night out into something which would be more appropriate for a brunch or um, just a casual hangout. The final outfit, outfit 14, is a very um, simple outfit um, and it can be easily achieved because it's literally just the dress and over top that I'm wearing the um, t-shirt um the yellow t-shirt with a knot tied into it and i think um it it's basically making your dress into a skirt almost but yeah i think it's really cute and casual and with that we have come to the end of the video i hope you guys liked it if you did do hit the like button subscribe so you know what i'm doing next week um, if you haven't checked out last week's video, then do so. And comment down below whether you would ever try a capsule wardrobe. And yeah, until then, bye!